Hello everybody. Um, I just want to go over a few things um, on this table saw I got just recently. Um, so this is a Hitachi table saw I bought used. Um, missing a few parts and pieces. Um, you know, I think new, these come with a with legs that kind of fold out and it, it makes its own stand. Um, obviously this one was missing the legs. Um, also missing the fence and uh, it came with a miter gauge, but it's not the, you know, it's not the right one um, that fits here. Uh, anyways, the, the main thing I was gonna cover here was um, making a fence um, for a table saw. So I looked up uh, online a few videos and uh, mainly what I found was how to make a fence. However, the, the person making the fence um, was using a table saw that already had a fence you know, to make sure they got some nice, clean, square cuts. Um, I didn't have that, that luxury because um, I didn't have a fence, obviously. So um, what I ended up doing was using this, uh, I don't even know what this, what this board is. Um, you know, it's, it's not a hardwood or anything, um, but it's a three quarter inch by about three inch um, width. Um, I, I had a few pieces, a few long pieces of this, and so um, it looked pretty square, pretty straight. You know, I checked it and my square kind of checked it and it, it looked decent. So, um, yeah, that's what I used. So real quick, um, the first thing I did was, was kind of make this, uh, L shape. So this, this piece on the bottom and this piece, this upstanding, uh, portion, um, that, that rides on the table. Um, I kind of just screwed those together. I, I tried to line them as best I could make sure they were square, um, when I did it and got them as close as I could. So I put a screw in just just two here and over here in that corner. Um, and obviously um, I tried to cut them to length. So what I wanted was the length from this slide rail all the way over to this slide rail. Um, so got them cut to length and uh, th then just put got them squared up as best I could and put a screw in the bottom. Of course, of course I countersunk these, I pre-drilled them, countersunk everything. And I think I used uh, probably an inch and a half wood screw um, on all of these. So anyways, the first thing I did was get this L shape. Um, then I set it up here on the, on the table saw on the, um, the tabletop here. And the next thing I wanna do was make sure that this was as square as possible um, to the table. And so I kind of went along and checked everything. Um, it's pretty good, it's, it's not perfect, but uh, pretty good as far as square. And what I did then, you know, made sure it was square. I used these these blocks here, these three, and um, you know, made sure I was square. Pushed this up, um, and I cut them square on my on my miter saw. So, you know, they were cut fairly square, and, and so I made sure that everything was squared up to the to the table. And then that's when I screwed them in. So I used these to really uh, square up this face as much as possible. These these uh, you know little intermediate pieces here. Um, once all that was put on and it was the end pieces, so I've got three screws here. Also for these these three stabilizers, I guess, um, there's a screw in the bottom and then one screw in the face here. That's that's all there is. So minimal screws, only two there, two on each one of these. And I put three on these end caps, um, end caps here. But again, so as I worked my, my way along, I just made sure I was square, you know, just, just kept running this down along there. Try to get as square as possible. Um, it, it was pretty easy. It went together pretty good. You know, I had to take some time to make sure everything was 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 lined up. Um, I did screw up. I don't know if you can see here. Uh, I cut my board too short, so I ended up having to notch out a little spot on this uh, on this side so that it would fit around my rails. Um, so the other thing that this table saw had that was nice it, were the rails themselves. Um, so a lot of fences have a clamping mechanism, you know, kind of built in. Luckily, I didn't have to worry about that. Um, there is a clamp over here for the rails, you know, so you can't, uh, but it's, it's, it's all built into the rail system and you use this knob to move the actual fence. So made it quite a bit easier um, doing this. I didn't have to worry about a clamping mechanism, but basically what I did, so once I got this all built, it was squared up nice. Um, I drilled a hole. Um, through the board down here and uh, found a screw that would fit. And how this rail system works is, you know, 
th these are the original screws, um, pr probably for the original fence. These were all in here when I when I got it, but it's got a nut on one side, and this is this is more of a shoulder bolt. I keep calling them screws, but they're bolts, shoulder bolt. Um, and how that works is the nut just slides in, and it's the same size as the inner inner portion of the rail, and you just tighten them up. Um, so that's all I did here was slide a new nut in. Uh, put the bolt through and, and just tighten them up to the rail. So, you know, what you get is this. Same, same thing on the other side. Um, when it came to actually aligning, you know, the fence, again, even if it was perfect, it, it, the being, being straight across the, the table was a little bit difficult to do, but I used the, the blade and then this insert edge right here um, so if you can sight down there, basically to make sure I was straight across the table. Um, so I, the, the other thing I did was I used, once I got it nice and straight and square, I tightened this down, tighten the one down on the other side, and the same thing on the other side. And then I moved these uh, original um, shoulder bolts. I buttoned them up right up against the wood here. So I always know if I have to move this, um, I can always butt them right back up against here and they'll be, they'll be nice and square, but it slides pretty good. I mean, it's, uh, you know, it only goes that far. Um, so if I wanted to cut from the other side, I'd have to flip this around. Um, and then, and then this way it goes quite a bit further. Um, I don't, I don't think I'll ever need any more, um, for what I'm going to do distance out this way. So, um, majority of the time probably 90% of the time where this is at, it's gonna work just fine. Uh, but anyways, I just wanna show you that if you, if you have a, if you, if you need a fence, you know, there's ways to make, make one, um, even if you don't have a table saw to make it nice and square, just get some pre-cut lumber. And the only thing I used was my miter saw over there to make sure all my edges were nice and clean, clean cut. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you real quick um, I seen somebody do this online. I thought it was pretty, pretty clever. And, and while I was already working on this and, and playing with it and having fun, um, I figured I would make a little routing table as well. So um, when you push the rails all the way over, there's about five inches of overhang on the one side. Um, so that makes a real nice spot um, to kind of put um, a little router table on the end. So it slides right into the rails. Um, this is, uh, I don't even know what this is, probably three, three quarter inch uh, plywood that I had laying around. Yeah, three quarter inch plywood. Um, so it doesn't look good. It's not all one level. I would prefer it to be all one level, but the board I had wasn't long enough to go across. So I cut it into pieces and, and mixed and matched and, and made it work. Um, anyways, the, so on the bottom side, you know, I've got my router uh, plate and the, the, the base mounted. Um, so I just use this clear plastic plate on the, on the top side to, to locate all my holes and then just uh, have this screwed right to the bottom of this board. Um, and I got my four screws here. Uh, and then here's the actual router itself. So, you know, once I get it, get it installed, um, and just put it in place. There we go. Um, so then it can adjust, you know, you can adjust up and down. And again, this is just a, it's not a heavy duty router. It's just a 20 volt DeWalt. Um, fits nice there though. Uh, no, no extra wires or anything. Um, so that's nice. The, the, the way that I, that I hold this down, um, you can see this little hole here. So on the bottom of these rails, there's a screw at the very end that kind of holds these tracks in place. Um, so I found a screw that was, um, you know, about four times as long. And, uh, what I do is I screw these right up through here and they go all the way up right to here and there's just a little nut on the top. Um, I don't even think I need the nut that, you know, when it, when it goes through the, uh, the rail and the plywood here, it's pretty, pretty nice and tight. But again, this isn't, this isn't, uh, 
perfect or great, but it seems like it's gonna work just fine. Um, the other thing, other couple things I'll show you real quick. Um, so for the router, I, I probably won't ever need it. I, I may, but I wanted a fence. I wanted the fence to be able to come all the way over to the router table. Um, so I have to loosen these up and actually slide it along. And I've got stops here too. So if I slide this all the way up to these stops, it's in the exact center of my router. Um, but I also had to build an extra piece. So again, this was leftover wood from this job um, that I made this little extra um, extension. And what I have here are some inserts. They're like some furniture uh, screw inserts that I had saved from uh, who knows where. But I had a few of them laying around, so I figured I'd give it a shot. Um, the bolts here are the same as what I have down here. And so basically I'll just, uh, just set right up here and uh, screw these down. Now it's not perfect, you know, it's, it takes some time to, to put this on and, and get it uh, installed and then I gotta move the fence, but for as little as I do any woodworking, it'll be okay. Um, so again, on this, I wanna make sure that, the, um, that this is square. You can see it's kind of off right there, which probably isn't great. Um, but it'll probably work for what I'm gonna use it for. Um, anyways, so what this does, this slides all the way over and can, and can meet up with the router if I ever use it again. Uh, a lot of the router bits that I have have the bearing on top and I'm just trying to chamfer a corner or uh, put a rounded edge on stuff. So um, this will probably work 80% of the time and I may end up using this occasionally. Um, but it's nice because it slides all the way over. Um, and so what I did with this hole, you know, I drilled my hole first as big as a drill bit that I could find. And then I used the, uh, a router bit to just push up through and cut the remaining hole. I did the same thing here. Um, I cut out a, uh, a biggest, a, as big of a hole as I could get with my, uh, my drill bits that I had. And then I went back and just kind of, um, routed out the edges, uh, you know, to, to where this clears the uh the router bit um so yeah that's that was that's pretty neat i think uh I'll, I'll use this occasionally uh two more things real quick you know while i had everything i was playing with uh with the new saw and the new router i also made a push stick and a push shoe um I, I looked up these online you know there's there's a there's a lot of people uh who show you how to make them so my push stick um it's actually a one of these boards is a scrap piece left over, so it's three quarter inch as well. Probably a little thicker than, um, you know, may maybe some people want if you got a thin uh, piece of material that you're trying to push through. Um, that's kind of thick, but better than getting my hand in there. And then the push shoe, I made out of, a, I think it was a two by eight. So, um, you know, a little bit wider, a little bit more steady, sturdy. Um, got a little lip on the back to catch. Uh, you know, whatever I'm pushing through. So that's a quarter inch lip. And then overall, um, the length of this is like 15 inches. The height is, uh, uh, yeah, about nine. So this is, must have been a two by 10 that I cut this out of. But basically I looked up, you know, what people had done before. And then I just drew out on a board um, the shape that I thought I might want. And then just took my, uh, my jigsaw to it and cut it out. I did use the router to round all the edges um, and, and clean everything up, but uh, pretty simple. Like I say, with just just a jigsaw, and, and again, this was a two by two by ten, but I think a two by six would work. You just won't have a handle that's as tall. Um, anyways, anything to keep your hands out of there. So, um, all right. Well, I just want to show you guys those those few things. Uh, you know, a fence can be done without a table saw that already has a fence. It may not be perfect, but. Um, it'll get you there and then my little router table here again as much as i'm going to use it it should should work fine um much cheaper all this stuff was was basically free you know the saw wasn't but um all the, the scrap wood that i had um kind of laying around um you know greatly reduced the amount of money i spent on these these accessories for the for the saw itself um anyways thanks for watching bye